manual log splitter design class is in session. Hey friends, Tom Wiley here. This is the first video in a series of videos of me viewing um, videos of manual log splitters on YouTube. That means it's a, a manually operated log splitter that uses a heavy splitting head suspended by a spring of some kind. Let's see how well they work, how well they don't work. Some of the thought process of designing your own log splitter. In this first class, we're gonna look at a log splitter that is um, a decent design, uh, but it has some, some issues. So let's talk about it. You can tell it is it does work. It's effective. He's splitting wood with it. Um, it's a relatively simple design. One of the biggest things I see right off, though, is that the frame is, is kind of loose on the ground, and it's bouncing around as he operates it. It's sliding downhill slightly. It's going crooked a little bit. Um, so having it either anchored into the ground or um, anchor the, the machine to the chopping block is even helpful helpful for that. Next thing I notice is the chopping, chopping block is so low to the ground. It's just a log round. And it's so low that they're having to bend over for placing and picking up every single piece of firewood. It's also a relatively narrow chopping block, so all the pieces of firewood they split fall on the ground and they have to pick them up again. That's what I wanted to avoid when I made a, this kind of splitter is I wanted to stand upright the entire time. Um, see how much of her body she's having to use? She's having to spread out her whole body, put everything she has into operating this thing when, when she's really splitting hard. Um, that's more of a workout than I want to do if I'm making a machine that's going to make splitting easier. I want it easier than an ax, not the same amount of a cardio workout. The handles are sticking out so far that I'd be afraid of poking myself on them when I'm walking by the machine or if it's if that splitting head is bobbing at all, I'm gonna snag myself on one of those handles and hurt myself. So here we see him splitting kindling. And I like that he's splitting kindling because this kind of a machine does great with kindling, but he has to kneel on the ground to do it. So he's getting his knees wet in the grass and then he's reaching way above his head to operate it. That is backwards to me. I want my hands in front of me. I want the wood in front of me and I wanna be standing upright the entire time. So all in all, I think I'd give this splitter maybe a maybe a six out of 10 or something, just because there's, there's so much they could improve on. I did like that it's relatively solidly built. I didn't see it jiggling all over the place. Um, they could use more weight on the splitting head. Um, and then the other things I mentioned. All right, that's it for this session of manual log splitter design class. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next video.